right, so here is what we are working with, guys. This is this is the new Greg A Garage. This is uh, what we are working with. This is the shop that is on the property. This is exactly how it was left to us. Uh, we're gonna have to do some cleaning in here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that workbench or not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this uh, kind of platform up there to store stuff or if we're gonna need that. He did have a lift in here, was not able to kind of obtain that with the deal. I think it was a little bit lighter duty, but I just wanna show you guys this space before we empty the truck. Kinda left all of this shelving over here, which, well, man, that might stay, but we got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna put the camera down. Just wanna give you guys a, a first look, and we'll kinda go over everything that's kind of already in here and what our plans are. We got a lot of stuff that's gonna fill this up rather quickly. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Uh, very exciting time. If you guys missed the last video, you definitely wanna go check that out. Kinda gives you a glimpse into all of the big changes that are gonna be happening. Don't worry, I know a lot of you guys are worried that we're gonna stand behind this white wall the whole video. We are gonna show you guys today the new garage, the new shop setup in the new house uh, in Kentucky. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions about all of that. Uh, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Uh, I'm still trying to get through all of those comments. Uh, I got through most of them, uh, but thank you guys so much. You guys seem to be very, very excited, very happy, um, and I am just very excited for all of the new awesome stuff that's gonna be coming to the channel, to you guys, all the new stuff. Uh, but anyway, today we're basically gonna focus on the shop and the garage. So just a couple quick details right off the top. Uh, the wrench work stuff. This, act this house actually has a basement, which is really cool. All the wrench work stuff uh, is now here, all in one. It's not scattered, um, but it's all in-house alley is going to if basically yeah sorry mark first sentence in i'm getting ahead of myself the wrenchworks website is back up so if you guys have been waiting for that go on to wrenchworks.com grab all the stuff that you guys have been waiting to get the site has been down for quite a bit so thank you guys so much for the support on there go check out all of the new t-shirt designs that we just came out with but anyway let's get on to the good stuff the shop in the garage. I'm going to be mentioning a lot of stuff that I either would like to change or need help with. Uh, if you guys do this for a living or uh, that kind of stuff. The best way to get a hold of me is through an email or through Instagram DM. Those are the two channels right there. So if you uh, can help me out any way, shape, or form, uh, do this for a living, have a company related to you guys that want to kind of help out, that would be more than appreciated. So just just don't just just don't comment I can't I don't know how to get a hold of you when you just comment but anyway so the biggest thing that I love about this uh, shop and garage setup here is it is all now in one place I can come home do my thing and it is all located in one place and we are not paying rent we finally own land and we're gonna build it i mean well there's already a shop here but i'm getting ahead of myself but anyway we're not paying rent the the rent uh man just that and that's one of the main reasons why uh you know we didn't put a lift in i didn't want to invest a ton of money into something that i really was never going to get back this is going to be a shop build just as much as we build all the truck stuff so we got a great base to start with but we need to kind of build the rest of it so anyway let's start with the home garage okay so here here we go here's the home garage let's get into it uh don't mind the mess we are still trying to get settled in all of that stuff we just have stuff everywhere so uh one of the things that i thought i didn't know about until we moved to kentucky is uh most houses in kentucky do not have a kind of like a basement and this is actually as you can see the retaining wall out there this is actually below both levels of the house so this is kind of like this is the basement it's kind of like a basement garage now really nice thing right here uh you know actually right here this this bump out that bump out over there and then it kind of actually goes underneath here you can kind of see there's two different ceiling heights there is a 16 inch i-beam in this basement and it kind of goes this way and this way. So this is a very, very, uh, it's just a nice thing to have when you're gonna park things underneath here. So, uh, but anyway, two car garage plus a little bit, plus it actually has two really good storage rooms that really don't, we don't really care about a whole lot, but these are just household things that don't need to take up garage space is basically what I'm getting at. So uh, two car garage, uh, we got the uh, second gen in here for now. I don't know if it's, 
Probably won't stay in here seeing that we're going to be working on it a lot, but I just have it in here right now. But it does fit underneath of the garage door and kind of fits right there. So really nice. Allie has designated her parking. She finally is going to have a inside parking garage. So we got to keep her happy and that is going to happen. You can kind of see this is kind of a little bit further over than it really needs to be. So quite a bit of space just in the home garage. Uh, I do want to kind of set up uh, kind of like a wash station for kind of all of our wash stuff, the pressure washer, stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't need to be in the actual shop. This is, I call that the shop, I call this the garage. So this is the garage, that's the shop. We will still have plenty of garage space to kind of keep a lot of our stuff in, which I'm very excited about. Alley will have a parking spot and we can probably park like the first gen or something in here. A couple of the things that I would like to change in this place is you can kind of see they got like got like baby blue walls. I would like to change that up either get this all white or kind of maybe go with the gray that we had on the last shop wall. I still have some of that paint and I'd like to kind of epoxy the floor. The floor is actually in really, really good shape, but I kind of like to, now that it's, now that we know we're staying here for quite a while, I'd like to kind of take care of the floor, make that a little bit nicer. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it here and probably change up a little bit of the lighting. I mean, what's nice about this garage space is it's actually heated and air conditioning. All of the heat and AC from the downstairs level is actually ran through this garage. So really, really nice kind of cool thing that I never really had before. So uh, it's got can lights here, can lights here. He still has some of the old, uh, old school kind of, uh, I believe they're like T8, T12, whatever they are. They're not LED. So uh, a little bit different shop, or I would say garage lighting in here would be really, really cool just in case. Uh, again, if we have to do some first gen things or if we're overflowing in the uh, shop next door, we can actually still work out of this garage. Now that the tools are all on the same uh, property, we can kind of wheel a, wheel a roll cart over here and do some work in here too as well if we need to. So just a nice kind of extra space as if, if you want to call it, just a little extra space. But anyway, all right, now let's go check out Let's go check out the shop here. Before it downpours, there's one thing I wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit about the property here. So as you can see, we have trailer number one, trailer number two, we got the little trailer hanging out over here, the Peterbilt, uh, which kind of brings me, that brings me to a separate topic, but the Peterbilt uh, is actually still on its way down here. Um, we are gonna go grab that, kind of like, that's gonna be the last thing we are gonna go grab once we kind of get our Kentucky uh, DMV plates registration all figured out. We're gonna get that done down here and then go grab the Peterbilt. So the Peterbilt project is still on. That is all still happening. It's just not physically here right now. I know I'm going to get more questions about it. But anyway, anyway, back to what I was trying to explain. Uh, trailers out here. So I do, obviously the trailers are not going to stay right in the middle of the driveway. Um, there's a piece of property or land right here where the trailers were going to go. Guess what? Turns out the septic field is right there. So what I want to do with the trailers and also the Peterbilt. That's the reason why I brought up the Peterbilt. You can kind of see the retention wall right here. You can kind of see the land is sloped right here. Yeah, we are going to get downpoured on. Uh, what I want to do is I actually want to regrade this back a little bit here and you can kind of see the propane tank is right over there. I want to try and regrade that and we're going to uh, basically make like a gravel area so when I back up the trailers from the driveway I can kind of put them right back here so they're technically not right in the front lawn so uh, that's that's a big thing right off the top the biggest thing is I need to get a space to park the trailers the Peterbilt kind of stick them in the back I don't really want them right in the front yard uh, I was like I said planning on putting them front yard but we can't do that so Anyway, that is one of the biggest kind of property things that uh, I really want to take care of right away. So the new shop in here is 40 by 40, which is 1,600 square feet. So square footage wise, our last shop was actually 1,800 square feet. I'm going to try and stand back in the corner here. Uh, the previous owner was lovely enough to uh, leave me all of this shelving unit, which is pretty nice. It may stay, it may not. Uh, I have spent a lot of the last couple days. He had all of this household nonsense up all of these uh, things. So I took all of that out. Still got to move a little bit of that tile. But here is the main shop 
40 by 40. Uh, I think it's actually a little bit more of a usable square footage seeing that it's not so deep. Uh, we can actually get definitely three trucks wide. The 05 is kind of in the middle and look at all this space. We can definitely sneak another truck here and then like another truck on the side. So uh, one of the last biggest things that I love about this shop, again, with the whole, uh, we now own this shop. We can do whatever we want with it. We can put more money into it knowing that we are gonna be here for a while. So this guy uh, did have a lift in here. As you can see, it was kind of a mediocre, not so high of a, a rated lift. So I didn't really care that he took it out of here. He took this lift out of here, but it has some good power. The one thing, another, I guess I'm saying another thing about this, uh, this, this shop has some big power in it, out to it, has multiple big power outlets. All the power is already here in this shop. So uh, electrical wise, we're pretty much set. We need to kind of, all, well, let's put it this way. All of the wiring is there, half of it is finished, half of it is not. So we need uh, a little bit of help uh, finishing off the wiring. Again, this isn't really that big of a deal, but uh, this is a big outlet right there big outlet right here this guy was planning on running like uh you know some lays in this place i believe another big outlet right here um so the place has got some pretty big wiring run to it already so this big monstrosity right here uh as cool it is as it is and i would love uh, a place like this maybe with a little bit more square footage I do think we are either going to downsize this, maybe cut it in half, or uh, take it out completely. I think it's just taking up unnecessary space where I think like above the toolboxes, my plan is to probably put the toolboxes over in this corner. And again, I kind of want your guys' opinion on some of this stuff. Uh, I don't, I've, this is like, you know, uh, it's kind of like a first for me. Like I've set up one shop, I really, Oh boy, the rain is coming down. It's gonna get loud in here, but I've set up one shop before. Uh, if you guys have a different idea, a different opinion, but I'm thinking because this shop is less deep, uh, we put the toolboxes on the side, and then kind of like how we did before, we're gonna build like a lean-to up over here, and then I can slide some totes all the way up top. Guys, one of the other big things, really, really big thing that I wanna change right away, right off the bat, as you can see, kind of like as you look around, everything in this shop is this kind of OSB particle board, uh, you know, like for camera video purposes, uh, white walls work way, way better. Now, I could just paint this wall white, but because of this plywood just it's not gonna look smooth, it's not gonna look good, it's not gonna look finished in my opinion. Uh, I would like your guys' opinion. I know our last shop was kind of drywalled, uh, top to bottom. Uh, gave a really, really nice finish. We painted it white, gave a lot of good lighting in that shop, uh, along with really, really good lighting. Reflecting off the white walls makes, makes a big difference. Now, um, drywall is not the cheapest thing, uh, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Should we drywall this entire place? Maybe do something a little bit different with the roof? Uh, you know, like our last shop kind of had like a little bit of a warehouse look. I would like this to kind of have, you know, like a cool feel, a cool look. Now, I know most pole buildings kind of have just gloss white, uh, you know, exterior siding on the inside which I'm not really opposed to, and maybe maybe we can do something with the beams. The beams are kind of cool in here. Maybe we could like wrap the beams in something. Basically what I'm trying to get across is, uh, I just want this place to look cool, but it needs to have white uh, to kind of make this place really, really bright. So uh, this is a, a lot of the reason why we still have stuff everywhere here. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly uh, what the best option would be, but I know we gotta do something because uh, the, the OSB particle board is not gonna cut it. So along with that, the lighting. So the lighting's pretty decent, but it's nowhere near as good as what we had in our other shop. So we are definitely going to need to take care of that and get some really, really good lighting in here. Um, and <laughs> you guys all made fun of me because I said how hot it was. And I mean, I know it's gonna get hot down here. I know it's gonna get humid down here. Uh, but 
the one thing I really, really loved about our other shop was uh, it stayed pretty cool. Uh, the cement just kind of, you know, traps in uh, that cool factor from the ground and kind of brings it up. Well, this garage door right here, you guys can look up. This garage door, uh, it's a 10 foot high door, 16, I believe it's 16 wide. Uh, it's not an insulated door, uh, which when the sun comes up, man, it beats against this door and it heats the entire place up. So I'd really probably try and swap that door out ultimately for a insulated door. Um, yeah, uh, so <laughs> pointing on the lift, the lift position probably needs to change. I believe we should move it over. It's actually to the left of the building. It's not even completely centered, uh, but I do want to get a nice heavy duty lift. You guys have been banging on me for the longest time about why do we not have a lift? Well, guess what? Now that we own this shop, uh, now I will definitely 100% be putting in a lift, a nice 12, 14,000 pound lift for all of the big heavy truck stuff. So yeah, uh, right now the shop is definitely a little bit of a mess. Uh, Allie has tons of projects going on. Uh, her and her dad and I have been trying to get the house kind of situated. Uh, so we got kind of like a wood shop, wood shop uh, going on over here in the right hand corner. But uh, overall, I am extremely excited about the space. Uh, man, it's just gonna, we're gonna transform this place. We're gonna make this place really, really nice. Uh, the property that we're on, has uh, three-ish acres on it. So I wanna clear some space, regrade the uh, back property here and basically lay stone down uh, enough to put the trailers and the Peterbilt in the back here behind the shop. And then ultimately Allie is going to roll her eyes at me if she ever watches this video, which she probably will. Um, I would like to build a bigger shop uh, along with this shop probably on the other side of the property and uh, make that really really big but this is a awesome awesome first shop that we actually own uh, and I say that because man like renting a shop is is great but the neighbors next door were kind of loud you just when you rent you you deal with renter type of things here we own uh, so it's just uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited to own our first shop, have it be a decent size, have it be on the property so we can kind of come in, go home, have dinner, come out here, kind of come and go as we want. All right, so I know we still have a lot of unpacking and organizing to do, but uh, one of the other things, if you guys look down, you guys can see it's basically just a cement floor, kind of like the other garage in the other house. I'd really like to do something cool with the floor in here. Uh, maybe some type of coating, some type of work coating uh, that's kind of uniform, nice to work on. Uh, if we have to kind of roll around in it, it's kind of a little bit nicer than the cement floor. That pretty much kind of wraps up this video of the new shop tour. Uh, the last thing I kind of want to mention too, uh, I'm not sure, I don't know if you guys ever kind of seen one of those all-in-one air conditioning units uh, that kind of just goes up into like maybe like an upper section of the wall. I'm not sure what kind of square footage those are rated for, uh, but I'm not so worried about maybe the winter down here as I am now about the uh, summer down here and maybe possibly having air conditioning in the shop. I know I'm getting a little picky, but man, with that door uh, either closed or open and it's not even like the heat of summertime this place gets this place gets pretty hot and uh, I really wouldn't mind some air conditioning in here uh, so maybe one of those all-in units we could we could potentially maybe put in here I'm not sure again give me your guys thoughts give me your opinions I kind of want to hear back from you guys see what you think about the new shop let me know leave some comments down below give me a big thumbs up before you guys leave that is pretty much gonna wrap up this video uh, a lot of action to come I know this is pretty much I think this is pretty much the end of the videos without me putting a wrench in my hand uh, and doing some work. So we're gonna be either racing or wrenching, I hope in the next video, a lot less talking, uh, a lot more cool stuff to come, guys. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Hit the like button before you leave, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one, see you.